Hello guys, Absolute Duelist here, coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, we're going to be doing a video talking about something that I don't normally do on the channel because of how much just bad that normally happens when I talk about them because it's normally something bad, but today I actually wanted to talk about something good for a change that Konami is doing. Now, Konami is actually doing something really good for the first time in a long time, in my opinion, and it's something that I can actually give a lot of praise for and give a lot of belief to that Konami can actually improve on everything they've been doing. Because recently, Konami, I'm going to be honest, they haven't had my full support when it came to like product. And I wanted to talk about this for quite a while. I've already I've made videos in the past about this, talking about how they make product, but they don't really give you anything to chase for. They don't really give you anything to really have amazing excitement for. And they tried to do that with Starlight Rares. Yes, they tried to do good things there. But with this, I think Konami is actually going into the right direction. And because of that, I wanted to make a video actually just talking about what I feel like is done really, really well with this specific set. And the set we're going to be talking about today is Mama Magnificent Mavens. And honestly, guys, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. The good thing about this set isn't even the reprints. It's not the reprints of the Sky Striker deck. It's not the reprints of Witchcrafters. It's not the reprint of the entire Sword Soul archetype. It's not even the really good reprints at the bottom of this set. Like, what is it? You've got Lightning Storm, you've got Shadow and Prison Mirror, Ghost Match, Evenly Match, Infinite Permanence, Ice Dragon's Prison, like, Tactical Talents. Like, you've got a lot of really good reprints in here. But this isn't why I want to talk about this set and give praise to it. Because there's also Pharaoh's Rares in it. I've seen, like... Neos, I've seen Gold Sark, I've seen the Crystal Beast Searching Spell. I've seen a lot of really good reprints and a lot of really good Pharaoh's Rares in this set. But what I really, really want to point out that Konami's doing well here is the fact that they're making sleeves. And yes, Konami obviously does make sleeves they make art sleeves they made the ip sleeves they've made the hero sleeves that are on delay right now they've made old sleeves like the god sleeves they've done sleeves before but what i really think is good about what konami are doing here along with all the reprints in mama of course and all the ashizu stuff that's just gonna break the game and hopefully it's not all short printed is konami for the first time has made a set that makes me think this is just like an OCG product and for me personally one of the things that I've had issues with for the longest time is that Konami doesn't really make product similar to the OCG because OCG gets all of this amazing product. They get the God boxes. They get the collection boxes. They get the collection boosters. They get some amazing sleeves. Some amazing reprint sets. They get really, really cool stuff. And really cool rarities. They have ultimate rares in their core set still. They have ghost rares in their core set still. And honestly, looking at everything the OCG gets and that we don't, I'm gonna be honest i'm really jealous and <laughs> i think a lot of people would feel the same way just for the fact that ocg get all the really cool stuff they get the figures they get the cool reprints they get the cool stuff in their products they get like prismatic god cards that you got in the god boxes like i i actually went out my way to collect all of them specifically because they like these are starlight rares in a product you could just buy the product yes it was random so you're not guaranteed to get the slifer or the obelisk or the raw like you're not guaranteed to get these but like just being able to get something really cool a starlight rare in a product is just absolutely insane and honestly 
this is the first time with Magnificent Maidens that I feel like Konami are going in the right direction. They're doing something new. They're doing something different. They're including something in a product to make people want to buy it and also making the actual product good with good reprints and cards to pull. Like, honestly, guys, I cannot think of the last time Konami made a really good set that had something extra in it that gave us something absolutely insane and wasn't trash. Like, honestly, every dice set we've had, like, the dice idea was amazing. It was great. Like, the dice set idea was absolutely astonishing. I loved it. Hell, I, I got the hero dice from the Legendary Collections. I got the... I got the Dark Magician Girl dice as well because of I really wanted that. I got the Kyber Corp dice because that was really cool. But the problems with these sets that had the dice is they were rubbish. There was no cards that you wanted to pull. There's no cards in the set that's worth more than a fiver. Yes, the recent one, the Magical Heroes reprint set, the one where the Hero dice and the Dark Magician Girl dice came in. Yes, that had Magician Souls, but everything else in that set was worthless no one wanted it if they all had reprints there was practically nothing worth pulling like yes there were some things that decreased the price such as the Pe performer power pendulum magician that thing was like i think a tenner before that set's release and then it got released and it decreased the price like magician souls that was a lot of money before its release and then it was short printed and then it just dropped the price making the set harder to get good things and konami have tried before with the dice sets but those sets didn't have any good reprints in them like look at magnificent mavens for me look what it's got in it. it's got sky strikers an insane deck from years past like 20 i think it's 2018 roughly where this deck really became powerful in the eternal format where we had salomon great where we had Orcus, where we had Sky Striker, Thunder Dragon, where this deck became really, really good. You get some fun archetypes, like Witchcrafters. Like, this is a really fun archetype. I really enjoy this archetype, and it gets a really cool new fusion in it that literally just says you can destroy a card, search, special summon a monster from the deck, and also recycle your spells, which is absolutely insane. You get the Ashizu cards, an absolutely game-breaking mechanic in the game, which that was with Tear Laments, just lets you mill... 10 extra cards for nothing and also gives the deck three basically called by the graves well not called by the graves but three just get rid of this card from the graveyard dd crows if you will put them back into the deck so i don't have to deal with them absolutely insane you get an entire competitive tier two deck you get an entire sword soul deck like, Sword Soul wasn't reprinted in the Megatins. So getting Sword Soul here means that this set has even more value to it. And then you just have some really cool reprints, like Yatagarasu, BLS. It's been reprinted as hell, but still really cool. Chaos Hunter, Beautiful Princess. Like, this Beautiful Tuna Princess, like, this thing was, like, £15. This thing right here was expensive. And now this is going to drop the price on there. You get some stuff like Baruru, the Ignisters. You get Blue Eyes, Abyss Dragon, Galaxy Eyes, Afterglow Dragon. Good reprint there. Ecclesia again. Like, I don't know why this is here. They just had it. You get the bad Therions. Like, these get a hollow upgrade if you wanted them for your Therion deck. Like, you get Elder Entity and Uns. This was an expensive card as well. Millennium Eyes Restrict. Another card that was really really expensive cat shark for you sprite players out there number 93 really good card totally awesome oni maru like soul sweeper is a great card for sprite that's only in common nightmare cerberus and phoenix reprints are great boral sword dragon like chaos soldier like this is an example of a really good reprint this thing hasn't had a reprint outside of secret and ultimate rare and ghost rare this will make the card even easier to get appalooza this is also the altar appalooza this is the really pretty one where she's on the lake like there's so many good things change of heart instant fusion hero lives for you hero players out there just like me dark calling this is the highest rarity of dark calling highest rarity was rare now it's ultra rare i'm gonna have to get one for my collection secret village foolish returns i actually don't know what this card does i think it's like return a card back to the deck pendulum call another highest rarity 
Magician's Restage for you Endymion players. Like, Changeover, Lightning Sword, Tactical Talents, like, Fragrance. Like, this set, Skill Drain, this set has so many good reprints. Even Ice Dragons, Evenly Matched, and Impermanence. And then you've got the Millennium Rares on top. Like, the set in general is absolutely insane. And you're also getting these amazing sleeves. Like, look, you get the really cool Altar Kagari. You get Engage. You get the really, really nice Witchcrafter sleeves. You get the Mayakashi sleeves, if you like that stuff. Like, honestly, this set is the best thing Konami has made in a very long time. And looking at it as a whole, Looking at Magnificent Maidens in general, this is a step in the right direction. This is a set that has really good reprints, has really good cards in it, has amazing potential to be just an insane set down the line, and also comes with a little bonus on top that has sleeves. It's not like the legendary Duelist reprints, where you literally get dice and then just have a basically terrible set. It's not like Hidden Arsenal, where yes, Lava Golem in it is now 12 quid. Yes, skill drains in it, but that set wasn't great. All it had going for it for me was the dice. Like the dice was the only thing. The Trish dice was the most interesting dice. I didn't get it because, well, I never really cared for Trishla, but it's still a cool set just for the dice. Like, hey, I don't, I don't know if I have one in here, but like, I got, I got dice for, I like, I get these dice. I like the dice, but the problem is the sets the dice came in weren't good enough. It just felt like Konami was adding the dice in to sell the set. That's all I ever felt like. Same with the hero set, like the magical hero reprint. Like, honestly, I bought that set purely for these dice. Purely for these dice, just so I could have my hero dice. Only reason. I didn't care what I pulled. Yes, I wanted some of the reprints, but I didn't really care. I really, really didn't like those sets. Those sets felt like they were just there to throw out some stuff put the dice in people will buy it for the dice maybe throw in a few choice reprints that might be good and that's about it but here with magnificent mavens konami has done something right they've made a really good set they've put loads of reprints that are really good for the community they've put millennium rare in it giving people a lot of cool cards that could potentially get with hieroglyphics on them and they've even added in these nice sleeves of 70 they are 70 pack sleeves not 60 not 50 like they normally do they are 70 like the ocg and for me that is just great this is a step in the right direction this is a great thing for konami to do i am very excited to see where konami goes with this i want to know what konami are going to do with this i just think here and now konami have done something really good and i wanted to make a video talking about it giving a little discussion about magnificent mavens talking about the reprints and also just in general say konami you haven't given me a lot of hope recently but with this with this one product I think you're going in the right direction and I really hope for future products that you keep this up. I really do hope this is an amazing product for me. This is an amazing thing for the future and if this is the way you're going to go about products in the future as well, I'm all for it. Good job Konami. This is an insane set. This is an insane product and just keep it up. We love it. I want to see more stuff like this. I want to see you give us more sets like this. Because if this is what you're going to do side sets like from now on, where you add little extra bonuses and the set is actually good, that is great. That is amazing. I love it. And yeah. But guys, that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Because honestly, this is a video commemorating Konami. This is good job konami i'm really happy with this and guys i hope you do support this set we all know that ashizu is gonna break the game but nonetheless konami does deserve 
a pat on the back for this because this is the first time in a long time I can say Konami has made an amazing product and I hope that they do learn more from the OCG products I hope that they learn more from this and I hope we get some really cool products like for instance the god boxes that the OCG had with the starlight gods in them and hopefully we'll see more amazing stuff like this in the future. But guys, that is all I have to say for this video. I hope you did enjoy. Magnificent Mavens is gonna be an amazing set. It comes out this week. I know I haven't made a set review about it. This is kind of my little set review for it, talking about how we've got the Mayakashis, how we've got Sky Strikers, how we've got the Ashizu with all the amazing reprints. Like I wanted to make one sooner, but I've not been the best recently, so I haven't had the chance. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Konami, thank you for an amazing product. And I hope to see a lot more coming in the future. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, guys, Robot One signing out. My favorite sleeves here, also the Witchcrafter ones here. These are the best. Look at her smug face. Later all.